Hey guys, it's Josh from AFT CES 2016. I am here with Christiane at D3O, and you're going to explain what you're holding in your hand as well as what your company integrates this gooey, amazing product into. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. So um, this is D3O. We're an impact protection uh, material specialist from the UK. We essentially own the patent for a material that's based on non-Newtonian principles. So what that means is, in its natural state, the molecules in the material flow freely, a lot like a fluid, but then if you apply force or impact, the molecules lock together and act like a solid. So a cool way for me to demonstrate how our technology <laughs> works is for me to hit my hand. So it's soft and flexible. <laughs> and then locks on impact, dissipates the shock throughout the material, and then goes straight back to being soft and flexible. And you found a lot of applications to throw this material into, and it sounds like there's a, a new element involved. What are these little beads in this jar here? So this is injection moldable TPE D3O, which is quite new for us. Okay. Um, we've been working on it for quite some time, but what we're launching at CES 2016 is injection moldable D3O inside electronics casings. Okay. So our newest product is somewhere. Where's it gone? Has someone taken it? Well, we'll get it in a second. Well, well, it's uh, the cell phone cases you guys have? Yes, so um, we've announced a new partnership with a company called Gear4, who okay. have an exclusivity in Canada, America, Europe, and Japan. Okay, and, and that is using this or this? So <laughs> this is our raw material. We don't sell this at any point, but we take the technology and we put it into polyurethane foams, polyolefin foams, and injection moldable TPE pellets. And then our customers use whichever type of material they think. So, like that yes. cell phone case is like lined with this material to uh, assist with if I drop it. Are there some kind of like, uh, like I could, can I drop it from like six feet and be okay? Are there some kind of parameters as to how protective it is? It's difficult because at the moment there's no real standards that okay. phone casings have to meet. Um, so, when we're kind of doing various tests to yeah. prove how impact protective sure. a phone case can actually be. We kind of just invent the tests yeah. ourselves, but yeah, you're okay. completely right. And the way a lot of phone cases are tested is by dropping them sort of from right. eye level or, you know, right. from ear height to the average man or woman's height, Got which it. is around six foot, and they'll drop it at various times and they'll measure <laughs> how many times it breaks versus how many times it doesn't. But Very cool. What other uh, applications are there? For D3O, we work across many different sectors. So we work in the motorcycle industry, we work in sports, so impact sports like snowboarding, American football, um, we work in footwear as well. So this has a D3O midsole, injection molded insole for um, uh, running to help reduce injury up through your foot. Oh, okay. And what else? The military, make some products for the military. Um, make products for the industrial and workwear industry for kind of top of hand protection, knee pads, all sorts. Um, and I saw there's like a, a, a helmet insert of sorts. Yeah. Well, how did that one just kind of is built into the the helmet of like a football helmet? So if I'm having a, a real bad impact, the same scenario where that your material from that soft material it alters to protect myself. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So it's. Uh, soft and flexible in its natural state when you know the, the football player isn't getting punched in the head or pushed about <laughs> but then you know if they are subject to some sort of intense impact right. then the material in the helmet liner jumps to life and helps that football player when they need it most. This is really cool. Now has anyone just decided to to just build a full body suit out of this thing and just like <laughs> fall like 10 feet and see if that they're all right. That's interesting you say that. We actually have a partner called Zion who make a stuntmen kit. Oh, okay. So literally full body protection for stuntmen. And um, I think recently Tom Cruise was wearing a D3O suit in the most recent Mission, oh, Mission Impossible awesome. movie. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Well, an amazing technology. Very neat to see that here at CES. Thank you. Thanks for thanks Yeah, for you're very welcome. <laughs> All right, guys, a lot more coverage here at CES 2016. Stay tuned. And if you see a little hologram, hologram of me dancing pop up, go ahead and email marketing at app.com, the title of the video, and you might win a $100 gift card. <laughs>